Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today, I want to take a little time to talk about Victorinox knives. And in particular, I want to talk about two of my favorites. On the top is the Ambassador, and on the bottom is the Money Clip Alox. Now, when I was 12 years old, I had a buddy of mine who had an order magazine for Gander Mountain. And we used to thumb through that thing and dream about all the different cool things that were in there from camping gear to hunting stuff to knives of every shape and size. But the one thing that caught my eye immediately was this knife. This is the Swiss Champ. When I first saw this, I don't know how many countless nights I spent dreaming about this thing and how many yards I had to mow that summer in order to be able to afford it. But by summer's end, I had managed to save up enough money that I bought my very first Victorinox knife and it was in fact the Swiss Champ. So I carried that thing for years and it was awesome. It was great. There was nothing I couldn't do with that thing in my hand or so I felt at the time. But when I hit the workforce uh, I switched over to plotter based multi-tools because I found that the Swiss Champ just didn't fit all of my needs. I needed something more robust and something you know that could do uh, more work with it. Let's put it that way. So I set the Swiss Champ to the side. Now the one I just showed you is actually going to be a gift for my nephew who's going to be 12 in just a couple of years and that's going to be his present for me. So I've been testing a lot of multi-tools and what I try to do is I actually try to carry them for extended periods of time so that I can give an accurate assessment of what I actually think about them and not just pull them out of their cases, flip them open, look oh shiny and be able to tell you what they are and what they can do. I don't think that's fair to you guys if, uh, if you don't really put them through their paces to know what they're capable of and what they're not capable of. So there's a bunch of them on the market that do not have scissors from the OHT to the rebar, the Super Tool 300, the Signal, the Sidekick, and even the awesome Victorinox Swiss Tool. None of them have scissors. So when I've been carrying those, I've been reaching for these two Victorinox knives. Now, let's run through real quick. The, both of these are gonna be 74 millimeter. The Ambassador, uh, I think 74 millimeter is just under three inches at 2.9 inches. The height on the Ambassador is 0.4 inches and it weighs 1.2 ounces. The Money Clip is actually a little thinner at 0.3 inches wide. It's also 2.9 inches or 74 millimeter and it only weighs one ounce. So just one ounce, I mean, ultra lightweight carries. I found, I tell you what, let me bring in one that you all should be familiar with. And that is the little classic SD. Now, this is a great little knife. I'm not trying to take anything away from it, but I wanna bring it in, first of all, to compare size on the scissors is what I really wanted to show and just how much difference there is between the classic SD and the 74 millimeter ambassador you know I like the classic it's just the ambassador and the money clip they fit my hand better and so as I've been testing some of these multi tools that don't have scissors I wanted a pair of scissors and I didn't want to carry some of my heavier Leatherman based I wanted something super light and these two fit the bill nicely and I found that they fit my change pocket perfectly as well so both of them on the three interior tools are going to be identical have the scissors which if you've ever used Victorinox scissors you know that they are fantastic scissors and then on the other side we have knife blade always nice to have an extra little blade and then we have nail file and nail cleaner which I I find it convenient very very handy to have a little nail file on me I like the ambassador for a bunch of reasons actually I like the fact that it has a little pair of scissors I like the nail file I love the nail cleaner and then 
I really like having a pair of tweezers on me because most of the multi-tools that I carry don't have that feature. So having a pair of tweezers on you is nice. And then it has the toothpick and then the key ring. Now the money clip does not have the scales and so the remaining tool for it is actually its namesake, the money clip. You could also use it as a pocket clip, but it's a little bit wide for that. So I have used this as a money clip, and actually I thought I liked the money clip better. I like the Alox, but I'll be honest with you, the Ambassador is the one I've been reaching for more and more lately. I like the fact, because it fits right in my change pocket, I hardly notice that it's even there and it has all the convenience that I need and mostly I have it for the scissors. So if you are looking or if you are an owner and you carry one of those other multi-tools that I mentioned before or any number of others that don't have scissors, I think these two little knives are an awesome addition to your EDC. And I think you should consider either one of them. I think both of these little Victorinox knives are absolutely fantastic. And whenever I'm carrying one of my test models that doesn't have scissors, these are the two I reach for the most. And the Ambassador more and more. I had been carrying the Money Clip for a while, but I think the Ambassador is the one that I actually like the best. At any rate, I just wanted to show you that talk to you a little bit about Victorinox knives because they hold a little special place in my heart. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.